Okay guys, welcome back. Half fast 719. So just want to do a quick little video, real quick, quick, just an intro. So we have a uh, Kurt class four hitch installed. And uh, yeah, I was able to retain the step. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, so I took the little leaf springs off. This is gonna be ahead of the video. Took the leaf springs off and got sawdust everywhere or metal shavings everywhere. Ended up drilling one hole there and one hole there into the hitch. Um, I, don't, I don't see a problem with hole, but uh, yeah. It's all installed. It's all ready to go and uh, be put back together. So you guys will see my little issues I thought and ran into in a second. All right, guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Have the uh, Kurt Hitch. My hands look so weird. Anyway, Kurt Hitch out it is that's the number 14250 supposedly it's a I don't know I don't remember is it class 3 it says 10,000 pound gross trailer weight, 1,000 pound tongue weight, 12,000 pound weight distribution, 1,200 pound weight distribution. So, whatever that means, I believe it's a class three. I can't remember. Um, or class four. I can't really remember, but. Anyway, um, I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know what it is. But yeah, it's definitely heavy duty. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna got the cardboard out. Figure out how I can make this work with with that. If I can, if not, is what it is. I'm probably going to have to remove it and do something else. But anyway, I guess I can show you guys under here. <clears throat> Diesel heater exhaust. Fuel pump. Uh, probably have to drop the tire, drop the spare tire to get in here. Not looking promising. It looks like I have to remove. Looks like I have to remove this because this there, that little flat piece, looks like it goes here. And then those four bolts go here. But it looks like it goes inside. So those this this side here. Looks like it goes inside. That sucks. Because now I can't use the step. Oh well. Maybe I can make a uh, step work for it. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Maybe what I can do is make this step work inside there nah no and then take it off when I'm hauling the trailer I don't know we'll see um but yeah first all first off I have to drop the tire take the tire down 
and then get access to these bolts big in here so anyway let me look it up see what class this thing was and then i'll drop this tire and we'll go from there um supposedly easy enough to drop the tire i have to take this tire off anyway because i'll have to change it um she guys had to take it off oh boy basically it's these bolts right here bolt there bolt there you unscrew them i think the little hooks open and then you can drop the rack so i will be back after i get the tire out all right people so yeah it's a class four hitch receiver hitch so let's take all the destructions apart so <clears throat> 03 to 06 freightliner dodge sprinter um says right there will not fit 140 inch dual wheel sprinter model says will not fit blah 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 118 inch wheelbase needs to have spare relocated and exhaust hanger modified 158 wheelbase vehicles with dual wheels need to have step bumper support brace removed from the passenger side step bumper bracket install time 45 minutes so that's 45 minutes if you don't have a step and you don't have to remove or do whatever all this stuff is so it says break off corner on step bumper models so i don't have a step bumper model um but yeah it was i had to take uh, this step off basically in pieces so come over here so in order to get um this sits like this right like that and this bolt you have to take this little leaf spring deal off to get to this uppermost bolt all the way up there in the corner so anyway whatever it's three quarter inch 19 millimeter whatever i'm just using a ratcheting wrench however the top top two bolts you can't get a ratchet wrench in there because it's too fat head's too fat so i ended up using that side um so now it says to drill some holes anyway here's the hardware it comes with comes with this piece which i'm going to use the full piece because mine's not a step bumper it comes with these and this weird little thread thing this little spring chaser comes with two four six bolts and these things so eight eight bolts so two smaller ones six bolts long long bolts eight nuts and then these weird little capsulated carriage bolts which i'm assuming i'll probably run them in last but it says to enlarge this hole i guess and then once you figure out where it's gonna fit because i think it's somewhere back here you'll fish these through obviously won't fish through right there i don't even know if it'll fish through in there because i believe that's a sleeve unless i have to go over in between these two so I don't want to drill a bunch of holes, so I'll just make this hole larger. Yeah, it looks looks like I can make it larger. Um, and then get it up there. Once I drill this hole, wherever it's going to go. Drill this hole, and then I can fish. Drill this hole larger, and then I can fish this up. Boop up and over hopefully and uh yeah and i don't know if it goes oh, that's just a 
box. I thought my shoulder broke. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'll have to fish it up and over and go from there, so. And uh, I'm kind of thinking that if I can, I want to make this step work. So, I don't know if I can flip the brackets. I don't know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to flip the brackets. So I'm gonna put that bracket on that side and that bracket on this side, because the way they are is the thing goes inside here and the bracket goes inside, inside here. So if I put the bracket out here, I might be able to run those bolts. I might have to get longer bolts. Obviously it's not really that much of a support. It's just more or less uh, just a step to have a lower step to get in here because these are pretty, pretty tall. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna throw it up in there and uh, get the drill out and see if I can't drill and fish this stuff through. And uh, I'll let you guys know my uh, mistakes as I go. So I will be back. All right, guys, so I got it on. Kind of a pain, definitely not a 45 minute job. As it says, install time 45 minutes. I don't think so, I'm a professional. Um, drilling the holes, it's all installed. Um, <sighs> couple issues I ran into. Actually, uh, I don't think they're really issues, but I'm going to try to use, reuse this bumper, this uh, step. Hopefully I can reuse it with longer bolts or spacers or <sighs> who knows what, but anyway, um, I did not read the instructions, but when I stuck this thing in there, those spacers that I showed you, I thought they went on the outside of the frame but apparently they go inside the frame so that's good because i thought i was like a half inch i had a big old half inch gap on one side then shifted it over so quarter inch plates and i used the uh not sure you can see them in there but the other plates the 16th inch or whatever plates that we're on the opposite side of this, so they were sitting on the outside here because these were sitting inside. Um, anyway, uh, you do have to do something with the exhaust if you're going to continue with the step. <sighs> I'm just trying to blow all this shavings. So, yeah, um, I'm running into an issue. Exhaust won't fit with trying to run the steps. So, probably gonna lop it off here and get a uh, turn down for what? So that it can blow smoke down. Turn down for what? Anyway, um, yeah, so you gotta tighten all these bolts, 110 foot pounds. Um, I think I tightened them a lot tighter, but I'm gonna go in with a torque wrench and, uh, 110 on those. This is a half inch hole. These are half inch holes. And then uh, I ended up using a step bit on that. And I got all the way to, hmm, I can't read it. Inch and an eighth. Maybe an inch and uh, seven thirty seconds of an inch. Hole on that to get the uh, plates in and to fish it through so um i did leave this loose i i mean you have to take that off but hold on so you got to take it off to get to the top bolt and uh yeah but pretty much it's all it's all on you do have to reuse one of the stock bolts so it's a stock bolt and uh Next, I'm gonna, I guess, tear into this wiring harness. So I can wire up, uh, uh, what you call it? 
Uh, trailer brake. So I have the trailer brake. Not a trailer brake controller, but. <sighs> I have a trailer connector. Which is all this. It's supposed to be plug and play. However, it does not look plug and play. It's for a sprinter fan, so. Um, it is a four prong and a seven prong. So I will do that in a different video, but yeah, so those are the spacers. I thought went outside of the frame rail, but it says right there, spacer mount on inside of frame rails. So anyway, um, yeah. So we'll see if I can get this. weird it's got that mount thing right there but not one on this side I don't know what that's for hmm. weird might not work after all but anyway I'm gonna try it oh no Way too far. Way too far off. Unless I can do some uh, really long bolts. But let's see that happening. Maybe. With some spacers. So anyway, guys, that's how um, how the install of the hitch went. Uh, pretty good. Pretty centered. I did not think it would center up because of the offset or the big gap, but anyway. 14.36, so it's regulating amperage because it should be like four four amps, something like that. Anyway, alright guys. See you on the next video. That's how you install a Kurt. It's a class four. Class 1V. So, like that. I know it says 3, but that's a 1 and that's a V. A 5 minus 1 is 4. Alright, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do, and I'll figure out this step because I want the step. Alright, thanks for watching. Later.